Hello and welcome back to Snowrunner and our hard mode series. We are currently in our P16 and we are, just check on fuel, I don't think the fuel is the other side of the dam, I'm really hoping it is. Uh, we are heading through to Drummond Island, we've got a rather large construction train to pick up and then uh, we've got to bring it back through and get it to the dual site which is just over there where we rolled P16 previously, but we're not going to go that way with it. Don't you worry about that. So this could be uh, one of those one job episodes. It could be that. This could take us the 24 hour in game time to get this done. I'm pretty certain the Kodiak is just around the way. I'm not going to have to go and find it because we're going to need some fuel. Although I've got the fuel, obviously, in Drummond, we have got fuel here. That's alright. It's alright, panic over. Fuel dramas are no more. Just grab a little. Just take it. And with a fuel tank for change, always take out the Chevy. Right, there we go. On our way. Now I don't think the P16 will, will fit up the uh, the shortcut track. So we're going to have to go <laughs> the roadway around here. Yeah, you know, probably isn't going to be the most exciting part of the video. The excitement comes once we've got that trailer attached. I'm just hoping that we get to the trailer before it's all midnight. Really, because the day just seems to go so quick. So quick. We can have a little bit of uh, risky in cab. I'm always uncertain as to how wide. Oh, wow. Definitely risky if it lags like that. What was that about? Yeah, the width, the width of the P16. I haven't got a clue where my wheels are. Oh, it's fun. It's one of those trucks that just doesn't go very quick, does it? Yeah, I'm just not, not certain that we fit up that track that was on our right. Rather than uh, risk losing it and rolling over again or just getting stuck and wasting fuel and what have you, we'll, uh, we'll do the long route. Again, I still don't know if it's actually quicker to go through the, to go through the swamp and into um, Island Lake. I don't think with the P16, I don't think it would be, because you have to get through the swamp, all the way through Island Lake, and then all the way through Drummond, because, you know, we can't get to the port. I would love it if we had enough, <laughs> enough money to uh, sell this, claim 50%, and then be able to afford the JDE modded version just for the just for the tyres really. <laughs> That's what I'd like. The tyres, the all wheel drive. We don't necessarily need all the extras that come with it. It's just those upgrades. The things that we seem to be lacking all the time. We got fuel here as well. Is this one empty? It's not, we'll have some of you as well. We'll just have a little dribble. I hope you're still enjoying the series. I'm only a few episodes ahead of you guys as I'm as I'm recording this. Sunday's episode went out, so that's that's how close we are. Considering I was like a month ahead at one point, getting the time to do things is getting difficult. 
and we, and we paused for a week as well to try and sort of catch up. Alas, it is hard to find the time. Just as I sat down to record as well, the uh, the little one got up and got upset. He's with mum. You know, I, I don't like trying to record if they're, if they're crying in the background. Give it a go. So yeah, the support on the series is greatly appreciated. It's a, it's a tough one to draw eyes to. I've got my faith also, and I appreciate you guys. I'm just, just waiting for my next truck roll. I know what you're there for. I'm waiting for the next mess up. We've just been pretty good. The last, last few hours we've been managing to get jobs done, which is nice. A bit of progress, a bit of stability. Hopefully this this one and you know, the, the rest of this job is going to be a, a multi-part contract. I think we've already got the metal beams that we need down by the uh, drill site. I think we've dropped them off already. Wait to be delivered. So it's just getting this trailer down there, getting those metal beams in and then picking up the drill itself. Just really hope that we can get through and get this, this first part complete. When we did this on the stream series, which now feels like so long ago, when we did this on the stream series, we attempted to go across river, got stuck. Um, then in, in, in trying to, <laughs> and that was with the standard P16 as well, no model P16 there. Um, yeah, and then uh, in trying to then get back up from that river, up that horrid, horrid hill climb with all the rocks and stones on it, we got stuck there live on stream for about two and a half hours. I think that stream's like five hours long in the end, just because we spent so much time there. It was, oh, torturous, torturous. I was adamant I was, I was not going to reset the job was Adam and I would get it out and we brought over two different trucks to try and help winch pull everything and oh, it, was, it was just everything every, everything everywhere it was just gone mad got it up in the end like I say and then and then from there taking it the long way round going trying to think where we tried to see if once we got to the uh, the logging site if we could go south from there Got stuck on that tiny gap, so I know we're not going that way between the two rocks. Literally stuck between a rock and a hard place on that one. So that wasn't great. Oh, we do have a high range, oh, we get slower with it anyway. So we've still got a high range gearbox. And then I think as we came back and then went around the northern route around the, uh, the logging camp. I think we got stuck up there for a bit as well. So I'm not I'm, I'm anticipating a battle, and that's that's why I know this is gonna be a long one for me. We probably could have gotten here without having to do the refuel. I just yeah. So embarrassing we can make it. to drum and we go. It's daylight so we'll, uh, we'll have that. 
pretty sure it's normally uh, dark. <laughs> I feel like it's always dark. Are we even, are we even set on the job? Let me just check this. We are. There we go. So that's what we've got to do. Deliver to the construction rig semi-trailer. Then deliver the metal beams and then the oil rig. Drill. So we're coming across. Do, 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 do. Round we go. Cross our bridge we built. And picking up our trailer, which is that there. Simple enough, right? Simple enough. Should have turned my headset up while we were in the load screen. Game's a little bit quiet for me. I don't think there's really a shortcut here in the... Will this fit through? I'm not sure if it does. Does it look like it? I'm sure if I got that straight it would. But we'll, uh, we'll not battle with it. It's not necessary. It's just nice to take off the corner every now and then. Grab the fuel on the way back. We mustn't forget we've got a trailer parked around here somewhere, but I don't think it's in our way, is it? No. That'd be fine. We don't think we need to be that wide when we come back with our trailer. Getting too comfortable just swinging it around. The game always feels like it's very quick to teach it, but at any point you get comfortable. Do not get comfortable. Not too comfortable. Get comfortable enough to enjoy it. <laughs> not comfortable enough that you start to switch off. And that's the trouble sometimes. Because I <laughs> again, because I really enjoy the game. I really relax with it sometimes. I just sort of switch off a little bit. Even when I'm it's supposed to be recording and chatting and think keeping engaged. Sometimes I just get a little bit gross with it and just <laughs> in a sense switch off a little bit. And that's that's not to to tarnish the game, it's just how relaxed <laughs> I am and how much I enjoy it. Control that. Oh no, we've got a flat tire. Oh no. Oh no. It's always something. <laughs> um, we've not got a spare wheel. We don't have nothing in cab with us, do we? 
can we repair it at the restock? There's a restock thing here. Can I fix that tyre there? I don't think I can. I think we tried this before. I don't think we can, can we? We'll put the other one. Oh, my memory is so poor. I think last time we had to replenish the truck. The other the trailer of goods. No, can't. Oh no, where's the um the, Ah sorry, we'll bring the Land Rover to meet us. That's fine. The Land Rover will have tire on it, are you? Oh dear. <laughs> If I can mess it up, I will. It seems to be the motto for this uh, this whole series. Damn it, we're still only in Michigan as well. I can't believe that. We've got to pull that. With our... With our busted tyre. Oh yeah. Let's go. Oh, take the handbrake off. <laughs> Why aren't we moving? It shouldn't hinder us that much. Oh, what's the time? Two o'clock. So when we get to the the blue semi trailer. That's when I need to jump to the Land Rover and just hope that it has a spare tyre. It's amazing how that spare Land Rover tyre is going to fit this though, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> World class preparation. I will forewarn as well, I'll probably be flicking my camera about a lot more than I usually do. I just seem to do it a lot, I mean I do it a lot anyway, I've noticed this in watching back my content that I move my camera a lot, but I always want to try and get let's say the best shot for, for viewing, the best shot for me to be able to see what I'm doing. Not that it helps, you know. Flat tire proves that. <laughs> Look at this beast. Look at it. It's massive. Looks like there's a sofa on the top there. That bright orange bit. Shortcut across there if you want to try it. I wouldn't. As we get to certain areas of this delivery, there will be a lot of winching, just flicking out the winch to try and pull us around a little bit, or what has you. Sometimes just to try and get us going. No, there's nothing to win. What? You're lying. There's always something to winch to. <laughs> That's. Yeah, that rubbish. That's what I'm talking about, just trying to help turn the truck. It's around some of these corners, it's, I guess, especially with that flat tyre, it's going to cause us some issues somewhere, isn't it? Hopefully, hopefully the landy is uh, stopped. If not, that'll slow things down as we have to try and get the Land Rover over to uh, get some more wheels and then come back again. Slowing down the progress.
just need to try and keep the wheels turning, keep the momentum going. That's it. Find some traction somewhere. I still can't believe I popped that tyre. This is so typical. All these years, years later, and I still wish we could uh, turn off that popping camera. over where I am. Oh, just around the corner. Excellent. Do I need that trailer? Don't think I do. Um, we'll just attach it. We don't need to uh, delete anything, do we? don't even think there was a repair trailer with the, uh, the Kodiak anymore, was there? Oh, let's get some air. I'm on refuel, aren't I? So why wouldn't that... There we go. Oh, do I keep going to refuel? Re repair? No, we don't have wheels, that's what it is. Okay. Repair what we can. Well. Have that. That's somewhat <laughs> disappointing. White Western Star, I don't think has any sort of wheel or anything on it. I've not given myself enough room to get around here now. It's kind of too tight. So, Lord knows how long we're going to be limping around on, uh, on a flat front. When we get back into the dam, we'll have to see where the repair trailer is. I mean, I know there's one way down, way down. 
I think it's got a repair box or a toolbox. It's not got a tire. Perhaps I need to start putting spare tires on things instead of all these um, toolboxes and stuff. Because we obviously we had this before because we had to do some tire work. It was on the on the way west as well, weren't it? If you can remember that far back. Just check if we didn't have a repair in here. No. I have taken it out. Before I leave, you see. I don't want to leave and then be like, oh no, it's just over there. <laughs> well, we're losing daylight and we're running now back into the dam. How will it go? Will we make it? Stay tuned. See you on the other side. Right, we'll skip that and we'll have a little look. We have service trailer there. Now I have a feeling that that could be empty. Get to get to the uh, the Kodiak, and then we'll um, have a look, see what we can do. Getting that far should be easy. Again, what would be nice is if we had a little bit of a juiced up version of the P16, and we could have took the shortcut route of the car. I might throw up a screenshot I've got of me <laughs> doing it not too long ago uh, on my console save with the, uh, the JDE version that I speak of. I mean, people do it with all sorts of things. I mean, probably if you aim it and, and get it right and are meticulous with your entrance down onto the, uh, the river and the little uh, causeway that's there with the rocks, you probably can do it with the standard. 16 but I could not. In fact, I think I've probably seen. The thing is, you can see it, and it might, it, again, it might be a modded version that just looks like it's the normal one, but it could have other extra bits on there. Powerful engine and the all-wheel drive. Just not the uh, flotation tyres and the paint job. Because if it doesn't have, you know, visual differences, you, you can't really tell. It's one of those don't believe everything you see on the internet <laughs> things. <laughs> As I said, I like using the mods. I don't like using anything that's overly cheeky. Somebody just, you know, adds some more tyre options or allows you to put in, I don't like to say to put in the all-wheel drive, but allows you to add diff lock or even sometimes just being able to carry that extra fuel, extra repair points or an extra tyre. If you've got that, that board on the roof there, why not use it? straps and parts on there. Got that massive space behind the cab. Stick a spare wheel on that. Those sort of things. 
I think I said on the last episode or the episode before, if there's any you out in the cab, and maybe not necessarily with this one, because there's not a lot of... Um, oh, yeah, we're, not, we're not turning because the uh, wheel, I think, is what's going to cause me issues here. track them with me pretty much to be fair should really go off a little <laughs> be safe there we go I always feel like if I go this route then that's the main place we're at, we're at risk of really screwing this job up. It's a pretty heavy trailer on I'm, I'm Oh dear. Lag on save. What's that all about? We've not got anything else running, I don't think. Yeah, anyway, uh, the trailer's got quite a bit of weight in it, so I should imagine, I've never lost it there, but I would imagine if it slips, you're a goner. <laughs> Oh no, 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 no. Don't break anything else. Don't break anything else. This P16 is a beast, though. This is what I mean when I was. <laughs> praising it up and many moons ago before it did that little backflip somersault <laughs> kicked the wheel out and we had to uh, try and dig it out it's just such such a beast of a truck the fact that it, I don't know why we're getting all this today I do apologise um, yeah, it's just such a beast of a truck Perhaps it's calculating on where where it's going to screw me over. Been playing a bit of World of Tanks lately. I don't think I've left that one in the background. <laughs> Never knew I'd be interested in World of Tanks, I'd have a lot of fun with that. around a little bit. Oh 
we stuck on? Are we grounded? That might give it a little tip for us when we we'll bring it around. There we go. I do like those high hitch points on this. It does allow you to do that. Obviously, ground clearance is all right, but because it's so long and so clumbersome, sometimes you do you know, get caught on things as you go around, mainly on rocks. So being able to just hitch from the top and pull on it so it tilts, just enough to get you around sometimes. Just turn ourselves around. Grab that repair trailer. I think all I put in there was the one the one wheel that I needed. The White Western. Annoyingly, there is another one to fuck out in the swamp. I should have collected that out. Oof. It's completely empty. <laughs> and, uh, okay. I'm not even sure how much is in the other trailer anyway. I think we've used it on a couple of vehicles because we've used it on the one that we recovered and then probably repairing other stuff as we went along. Oh, come on that. That's annoying. And it's one wheel at a time at 50, isn't it? Okay. I have an extra wheel in there. I'm not going to fill it up with parts. I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm always hoping we're not going to have to do it again, but... I need to get my lazy ass down in the swamp and collect the one that I've left down there. There we go. Actually, we'll uh, 
heal as well. On our way. Time check, it is now midnight. We've got eight hours. Eight hours to get this delivered today. And a lot of the hard pulling is going to be done in the dark. Should be fun, should make it fun, right? You have to plan it out so you're, you're here with it at the end of the first step, first part. If that makes sense? So then you start in the morning pulling it <laughs> through, through the forest. Not, not through the forest at night. Forest at night is not the way to go. This in itself is a bit of a ball lake, isn't it? It's like just, just enough space. It's like perfect. Perfectly difficult. And as we go through the farm, if I remember rightly, we did park a fuel trailer in the farm. Because we have to remember, we have to get out from where we're going. It's not just getting in there, we've got to get out. Make sure we've got enough fuel to do that. And I'm not sure what we've got. I don't think we've got another five slot trailer here. We might have. Because I'd rather not have to pull the white west and star through, because I want that in Drummond with its trailer there. I meant to turn off earlier, but this is the day. Yeah, we have a five slot semi here. That would be nice. Pretty sure the twin steer is four slots, isn't it? That's not five. I don't know why I can't remember that either. I'm just thinking for the drill. Oh, wrong way. Sometimes I do that. It's crazy. This part up here can be a bit of a chore. on over the damn rock then get stuck on the rock We 
and going down to low gear doesn't help in the same sense that it does with a lot of other trucks. I always find low gear in a P16 just, just really doesn't help at all. Here it's all right, but once we get on the flat, I don't feel like we really get a benefit. So, yeah. I, I tried to get it between that rock and the rock next to it. Didn't work. But that's what the uh, the stream series is all about. Just trying things a little bit different, and seeing where shortcuts are sometimes, and just having a laugh, seeing what, what we can do. Chugging. Just a wee little pull, come on. What are we stuck on? Check the winch out. It's just the weight. I think it's just the weight that's getting us. Nope. That's it. Tree in front. Let's go. Try a little lower gear. We remove the need for shifting. You know, it might be smooth, it'd just be so slow. But it's just that when you do get stuck, it's like there's nowhere else to go once you're stuck. There'll be a point in a minute where I'm like, whoa, 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 we need to slow down, we need to slow down. <laughs> there we go. So this is a good showing for how some some jobs and certain deliveries just leave a mark on you. That other than checking for where we've left trailers, we've not needed the map for the whole thing. Like you just know where you've got to go. It's, it's 
burns on you. The, the trauma of getting it wrong. You 100% remember where to go and get it right. <laughs> There we go, that's the first part done. That sort of went through a bit quick, didn't it? Uh, metal beams are over here. Symbols, symbols. No fanfare. I think it's because I had my finger still on the trigger. Yeah, I'm pretty certain that this is not long enough to put the drill on. I'm sure the drill requires five slots, not four. Which I've attached trail thing very much. Let's check our fuel situation. I ordered some fuel, but <laughs> that's that'll be what happens. Right. There we go. Next stage. Done. Let's just turn the engine off while I have a little look. Do we have flatbed trailer, flatbed slideboard trailer? No sideboard ramped flatbed. Two service trailers, fuel carrier, fuel carrier, flatbed semi trailer. Ooh, that'll. That's got five slots, that's what I want. Right. Oh, it's all the way up there. Oh, that is. That is annoying. annoying don't think we have anything in the garage do we Let's... oh there's any trucks in the garage Trans stuff. Oh dear. Can we get the trans star up there just to bring it back? Can this be our hero?
just want a low saddle. This should be able to get about the map, shouldn't it? Just to bring that trailer back. So I don't want to buy a trailer. Would it be quicker? Or would it just be quicker? Since we're wasting time. Would it be quicker just to... Jump to Drummond. We'll grab the White Western. The Fleet Star's got... So even if I wanted to use the Fleet Star, which we could, um, I'd need to come all the way back to the garage, take its back off, and, and what have you. So, that's White Western. And what we'll do is we'll just try and get there as quick as we can. Uh, detached to as quick as we can, so let's not keep fannying about, eh? Time, 6.30, got a few minutes. And then we'll leave. Once we finish with this semi-trailer, we'll leave that in Drummond. No, in Drummond, we'll leave that in Smithsville. For later on. Because I really want the sideboard trailer for the job in here. I'm going to have to have a day where we just sort of move some vehicles about again, I think. Because I don't want the fleet star in it. I need that somewhere else to, to be doing things. I think I want the, the twin steer. I believe that is still in Island Lakes. I want that up by the quarry for a job later. To have a little think about where I want things to try and start to move some stuff about. But that will uh, obviously be for another day. And now we just want to get that trailer. I think what we'll do is attach the trailer. Pretty much call it there. And then try and save that extra minute or two that we'll have. The drill delivery and whatever we decide to do next. Perhaps after the drill delivery and set up is when we'll have a little bit of a tidy up. Is there room for me to get past it? Probably not. Because I don't think like that when I drop stuff off. And when we do this, this is where we'll find out that I was wrong and a four bed is plenty. Come on, let me have a camera control back, please. There we go. Those dodgy cameras. <laughs> As if they never fixed them. <laughs> never sold that out. It's not too late, Saber. It's not too late. So that, my friends, is going to be it for this one. So that's sort of part one of that job, that delivery. I was out with the old. And, uh, yeah, we'll we'll go grab the drill and we'll chop that off. And then we'll decide what we're doing next in the next episode. Yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. I'll try and get these out in a row as soon as I can. Like I say, it's not always guaranteed at the minute that I get the recordings, but I'm trying my best, and um, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.